It was a stone groove, my man. You are the most righteous. Yeah, right. Testing, testing. Uh, my name is Rob, Bobby V, Rob Vasquez. I'm a personal trainer, but also an MMA enthusiast and combat sports enthusiast. And I'm here with none other than George Sartania over here from, uh, well, I'm from, I'm from New York City. I live in New York. You can see I always sport my New York gear. And my man is uh, number one over here, Georgian, and also a fan of, uh, one of my top favorite fighters, Marab, Lashley the Machine. So today, this is this is uh my first my introductory show, and um, you know, we're gonna talk about you this amongst other things, UFC 257, which uh, you know, well, I'll start off. I'll start off with uh, well, cool, you know, kudos to Dustin Poirier. With uh, Conor McGregor, I love Conor McGregor. I like what he represents for the sport. I always say that. Uh, I like what he brought to the sport. Um, I just think that uh, I don't know. I'm, you know, since so many levels, like he transcended a lot of things. He made the things better. He made the sport better. Um, I think in that fight, he just seemed a little off his timing to me. You know, I, I thought that, uh, you know, the style that he was using, because he's a master, that we, we've seen him destroy people. We've seen him not to warfare. Um, someone had said, too, before I get into that, that well, he just finally, the father life and everything, he became Conor McGregor. I said, that could be true, too. But I think the fact that he said he needed more time in the cage, so I don't think he was as sharp because Dustin Poirier has had so much time in the cage that it's like another day for him because he's dealt with so much. And, uh, you know, but getting to the fight, I think that, you know, of course, Conor McGregor, if he catches you, he rocks you, he's going to hurt you. That's a given for, for the most part. And, but I think his boxing heavy stance, you know, you know, on some New York shit, Nah, nah, I'm just joking. I'm not so New York stuff. But I think his boxing heavy stance uh, enabled Poirier to land those kicks more effectively. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. Like the first time they fought, yeah, they were both different fighters, but the strategy employed by McGregor was was a little different. But I, I do I think um, a trilogy would be good. I think it would be really good for the sport, amongst uh. Poirier's pocket, <laughs> you know, but, but I love the fight and they're one and one. Who do I think will, will win the next one? <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't. You know, if the Connor comes with, uh, as he was before and you know how he comes back better for some reason, he's, you know, even though he's coming off the yacht and it's hard, like the, they say it's hard to be a savage when you're, so pajamas <laughs> and you're dealing with all these things but i think that conor mcgregor is uh he's great for the sport man i mean why do you think so many guys and he knows people are calling him out because they want the money they want what he said baby it's red panty night <laughs> that's what that's what they're looking for come on let's let's keep it official why do you think he got that new york swag when he comes with the with billionaire struck because he knows if they want to fight him why they don't care, man. But look, man, maybe some guys can't beat them or whatever, but they know that that's a huge payday. You know what I mean? But uh, what's your take on that fight? What do you think? I mean, I think he looked good in the first round, but what do you think? Bichorawi, Chewle, Brivat, Gamo, with Arme, Gonar, or Agats, Ari, Kokar, Porma, Ship, you were round, she, Zalianka, Kargat, Shia, Sulata, Moigop, Iroli, round, Ida, Agdeb, Dara, that. Okay. Well, I, I don't. I don't really speak Georgian. You know, I'm a, you 
I'm, I'm uh, you want me to change the language? Uh, no, no, okay. no, 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 no. You can do, you can the, do the language. No, 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 no. Just, I'll, just I'll change the, the language. Uh, I think that is Conor McGregor. This is a very famous person. He and 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 La chante mi cantare. Italian, let me tell you something. Italiano fero. You know what I mean? But what do you think about the fight? What do you think about that? That first, uh, the the main event. Then I thought Connor did really well in round one, and he was actually close uh, to finishing the fight. You know, and he looked in amazing shape as well. Yeah, he always uh, like physically, you know, and uh, Dustin even said that he got rocked and he didn't really show much. But if you watch it, you can you can tell. Oh, he nah, was I rocked. saw it. Yeah, he got rocked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so you know, I, I I give props to Connor. I think he did really well in round. He won round one, and I thought like this is gonna be a Connor, you know, Connor show. But obviously, the theory, round, uh, the, the theory of of the unexpected to coin a phrase, you know. Uh, yeah, and just because you just don't know what's going to happen. Somebody does something this different this time, and it changes the entire fight. You know what I mean? And, you know, but I'm I'm happy for uh, for for Poirier. You know, he he, he deserved it. And, you know, and they're one and one, and he's got that that foundation set up, which is real nice. It's always good to see somebody doing something like that. But uh, what what do you think was the difference, I mean, between uh, you know, from the first fight and the second fight, obviously the weight cat, the, the, you know, they were fighting at one forty-five, they were fighting one fifty-five this time. Did you, you do something with the different? sound? Your your sound is more more like um, less clear. I mean, like okay, what do you think? Right, was the difference? Can can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what was the better difference? Uh, uh, what was the major difference from the first fight to now, as far as like uh, like the keys, uh, the victory, things that changed, uh, you know, the outcome? Well, the first fight didn't kind of end it in round one. It was yeah, really but but what do you think was the difference? The approach. Um, I don't know. I, that's hard. That's that's hard to say, but. I think what factor what the factor was that Connor is a part-time fighter basically, you know? Yes. And uh you go in you going in a cage against somebody who's trying to kill you. No like you can't be a part-time fighter and fight at, like at all. At all. At all. Fight That's three times three times in three years, or I don't know how many times he fought, but he's still incredible. And uh, I'm definitely not a Connor hater. And I think I think that what some people did with the memes that was kind of cheap. I didn't even know? I didn't even pay attention to it. I didn't even look at the memes because uh, I mean, yeah, like the, yeah, well, I didn't I didn't really because you know I'm not. I a mean, fan people, I'm a, I'm I'm a fan, but I, but listen, mind you, I'm also a huge Habib fan for different reasons. But like, if you're a fan, maybe you you can put some memes. But if you're a fighter. If you're another fighter in the UFC and mm -hmm. you are, you 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 putting out memes of him laid out, you know, with a pillow, and you're writing comments, and you're another fighter, I think, you know, that doesn't yeah, look. Yeah, it could classy. be kind of corny with some people. It's not classy, you know. Nah, it's not. It's like you know, like did they always feel that way? Did you just wait for this opportunity to do that? Like, if that's the case, don't wait. Why wait? I'm just saying because, like you know, this you straight up, you straight up. Why wait this? You know, that's how you feel. Let it be known from the gate. Don't wait till that happens. You know what I mean? Because, you know, what would some of them have said had Connor had Connor won handily? Had he won by for the knockout decision, whatever, you know? Or, or, or you know, so, como dirían? Lo voy a decir en español. Como dirían la gente si Connor? Oh, that's why I got switched off this one. La pelea. Oh, they talk with the about uh, you know. But, but it's funny, though, because I look at it and I say, uh, you know, the memes, I heard about the memes and I know, you know, the, the Paul, Jake Paul, whatever, whatever. But Con I think Connor also understands that he was that guy 
in a sense. But he did it on a, on a grander scale. Like he, you know, he did the Mayweather thing. He did what a lot of people wanted to do. But along with him doing that, made the sport better, brought more money to people. A lot of people, instead of hating him, should be thanking him for the fact that they can make more money now. They can feed their, you know, they can do a lot of things, but, you know, I, I don't know. I can't say, I can't speak to, to everyone, but some, I know some people who are fighters who, they like them, man. They like them. You know what I mean? I know, um, for instance, Matt Fabola took a picture with him and I made a comment on the thing where he, he says real recognizes real. Real recognizes real. So I, I said, I just put it all the time. See, we're from New York, so we understand that. You know, you respect, you know, and it's a mutual respect. And and they, and, and they see that and they feel that. But the memes, I really didn't follow. I, did, I didn't check any of the memes. I, I did see the the video, the thing, the Fujala thing that they did or whatever. But I always watch those. But as far as people and fighters putting in memes, I didn't pay it any mind. Because, I mean, in, to some people, that's fine. And that, that makes them feel better. Hey, so be it. You know what I'm saying? But I don't agree with, with it, with certain things, but it's not me. That's that's their life. That's why they're meant to do what they do. But some people also realize that that, that comes from a different place. And some people is maybe because they're just jokesters. Maybe they they had, you know, they're, they're funny to them or a competitive thing, whatever. And then some people come from a thing where they just, maybe because maybe they'll never be him. They never achieve what he achieved because I, somebody said me remember one time, which I don't entertain. Like I said, like when people say that someone can't fight, I said you don't do what the sad person did to the savages he did it to, <laughs> and gave the huge fights that you get if you can't fight because UFC or the major major organizations they're, they're not gonna they're not into the business of employing people who can't fight. It's not like you're going off the street and go, hey, Pete, you need a job? What are you doing? Hey, would you like to wear this belt over here? That's, that's not gonna happen, bro. That's that's a man. The resume, you know that that uh that job interview is crazy. You know what I mean? And the paycheck when you earn that paycheck, that's what I tell people. You know, if, if they're gonna they need more money, whatever they should they should get it. Cause that's a hell of a fucking way to earn a paycheck, man. You know, excuse my language, but I'm just being honest. I mean, if you knew you had to go in there, and yeah, you like the competitive spirit, especially when you're younger. When you get older. Eh, you know, it's a lot different. But, you know, you want to get it done. But it takes special people. Those are really special people to put it all on the line and risk it. So am I going to come and laugh at him and say this and that? Whatever? No, I'm not going to. I'm not doing that. I wasn't laughing at him before. Win, lose, or draw. He still showed up. Whether in his side he felt like, okay, maybe I'm not my best. Or maybe I am. Yeah. The same is, same is for Dustin Poirier. The dude is a savage, bro. He's a dog. He he. And he keeps pushing, so he deserves all the great and good that you know that he gets, man. I can't believe he started off with a takedown in like the first uh, first minute or something. Like it just took him down straight away. Yeah, like, I, and and I figured he, because when he said no, we're gonna go in there and do this and that. I said, mm, maybe not. The like first thing I thought Poirier was maybe not with a with a shooting for a takedown and getting it. He was he there. The he was. He bought his MMA game, man. He bought yeah, he his did. MMA game. Yeah, he 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 employed a a hell of a game plan, you know. I uh, yeah, you can't take that away from him. He, he he did what he was supposed to do. There's two competitors there, man. You may like one, hate the other, love one, love whatever the case may be, but you know they're both chasing the same goal, same dream. So the better the better man of the night won. And that's it. Here's a question, that. Bobby. Mm -hmm. Here's a question. Yeah. Do you think, do you think if Dustin is game, do you think Connor should take the immediate rematch or should he take another fight? If Dustin is game, and I think he, he's game for he the is. third fight, for the third fight, right? Do you think Connor should, should take it immediately and like do oh, it in summer? Question. That's a tough question. Maybe another fight before that because he wanted more time in the octagon if that's what he really needs because you know time training and all that stuff is not the same as being in the octagon but if it was another fight who's but, it gonna be it's gonna be maybe I know, but somebody I was, even I, I was worse that, but then i said stylistically i think i think you know? he should take it 
I think he should take it. Right now, like you know what I mean? That heal up, but but he's on uh he's gotta rest up for a while. He got down the medical suspension because of the injury to his leg. The knockout master gets knocked out. That's that was unexpected. That yeah, was unexpected. Man. I I I didn't expect it, but but when I saw the leg kicks taking effect, I said, Wow, that leg is compromised. I said he's not unless you've been hit by one of those, you don't really know nah, what you it don't feels really like. know because it, it lasts long. You like you're like touching into them. That shit hurts. It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like something that you know can have. Like when you're watching it, it's yeah. like all right, it's just it kicking hurts. his leg. It's like whatever, dude. That's it nothing. It nah, looks like that. Them, that's it. That's like why that. they throw it because it, that's what it does. It, it it affects it like that. But that's what it's meant to do, and it makes you square up, switch legs or square up. So when you're squared up, you're not on you're you're not on balance anyway, and it's easier to to, to fall. And you're you're easier to hit. So, you know, yeah. But uh, those leg kicks are deadly, man. Shin kicks, calf kicks, whatever, man. Those things. I would never see that. I'd never see Connor get. There was no, there was no like single call I saw in my mind that had Connor getting knocked out. I know no one did. I didn't see. No that. one did. I even 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 all. Ally Quinta had a had a the you know a betting thing that he had. Uh, and he made sense. For, for, for I liked it. Website and yeah, he made sense. He thought Connor was gonna knock him out. He thought Connor was lulling him with the. You know, kumbaya and stuff, and I said, "That's that's a that's a person. That's a matter of opinion." Uh, you know, but no one saw that. They said, "Oh, because of distance, Poirier will beat him and whatever." But who thought that Poirier would knock him out? I didn't. I thought Poirier. Would, I thought Poirier was more dog than Connor, but I didn't see him knocking him out. Like you know, I mm-hmm. thought. I thought he could stand with Connor. No, no doubt he could stand and trade with Connor. Yeah, because Connor's but, Connor's reach is like he's 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 like like uh, one of those guys that have a long long reach for their height. So if he comes in and he he extends it, like they may time that he he extends and then he's fighting another lefty, so it's a longer extension than than a shorter guy. So it may be you know if they timed it right they. I left him open to the hook and whatnot, but it's it's a different thing when you're fighting, uh, you know, another southpaw. Everything's like the reverse, like what you're used to doing. You know what I mean? But you know, like blessings and, and, and kudos, man. I you know, I was a great fight, and I, I look forward to seeing the third one. If they want to do it now, that would be great. I know there's uh, talks in. Um, in I think Connor should just get that closure. You know, you don't want you don't want to leave it like that. You know. Yeah, I, I don't think he's gonna he's gonna want to leave it like that. I don't think he's gonna want to leave it like I that. I don't know, man. I mean, he's expecting a kid. He's expecting that being a said, kid soon. Moving into the to the next thing was who who saw this one coming? Michael Chandler. I thought I, I I've seen him fight for and, and you know I saw like him practicing certain body shots, but the way that he was coming for it, I said, yeah, he wants this. I said I don't think he's really. He's not really worried about what this guy's doing. You know, people want you to worry so much about what the other guy's doing that then you lose focus of what you're doing. And uh, yeah, man, it's, congratulations to Michael Chandler. He deserved that shit, man. I have seen him on the highest highs and the lowest lows. But he's he's like he did he he definitely uh he shocked a lot of people and he, and he did it the right way. He came in, waited. He said it was a fight he shouldn't have took. It was the wrong kind of style guy. I said, whatever the case may be, you could say whatever. And he slept him. He went right through him. He slept him. And, you know, and, and that guy's no slouch. He's got, you know, I've usually seen him with really good footwork and he does his thing. It's no slouch, Dan Hooker, but it was Michael Chandler's night. And I went, but so now but we were talking about the fight with Connor and Poirier. They, they, they I know. Chandler wants to fight Poirier. You know what I mean? So he can get this title thing going on because they Poirier both won. is not game. Poirier don't want none of that. He yeah. already said he don't want none of that. Why not? Um, Because uh, he thinks that Chandler doesn't deserve to fight for the title immediately. And 
Dustin right now definitely is the guy who's going to fight for the title next. But if, if yeah. UFC decides, if UFC decides the next fight should be Chandler versus Dustin for the title, Dustin's mm-hmm. not going to say no. 